Oh, you went on Zoe. Yeah. of Magical Curiosities box. So, let's see. Look. Oh, first thing is a little letter from her saying, I hope this letter finds you well and that the owl that delivered it arrived safely. Yes, it did. I also hope that this box didn't end up in the wrong hands as I will likely get into trouble for exposing our client to the magic, the muggle world. If you're reading this, I wanted to say a, a big thank you for all of your support with the creation of Magical Cities. Always cherry. P.S. By the way, the bird bites. It's alright, I fed the bird. This is kind of cute. If anyone knows, cherry loves her uh, magical things. So um, that's one cool tissue paper. Really well, of course. So, cheat. Some of these wiggly worms are golden wiggly worms, which is kind of cool. Okay, so the thing is, this homology box, it's a pretty cute box. You may have maybe a mandrake or. Oh, what was the one that just locked on? I was trying to get mum when Harry came along with the after he drank the liquid luck or maybe that was quite who you knows. Ah oh my gosh. It's plant which for the life of me I cannot remember the name. I'll have to have a look at the cheat sheet. But that is quite cool. We never have we've never seen a plant one of the Neville's plan in a box. So that is a really good start. Hey. Move these wiggly worms out of the road. There's a pin. Of course there'll be a few you know, cherry and lots of pins. It's a magical curiosity uh yeah. It's a your ball pin and those I don't know if you can tell, but the pot, tops of the bottle is uh, a see-through. It's the pumpkin juice, which is quite cool. Next up is this, which I think it kind of, the way it's packed, it looks like uh, the Philosopher's Stone. Or Sorcerer's Stone if you're in America. But, like, Myself, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to try and open this without destroying the packaging too much for the packing. It's so cute. Um, so, so cute. I want to try and keep it. Oh, <laughs> it is. This it is the Sorcerer's Stone. That is cool. Cherry, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Then <laughs> we have a Time Tone Tea, which has, is in, in white tea, here in coat, in a chip, sweet blackberry leaves, rose petals, corn flower petals, marigold petals, and sunflower petals. It's a passion fruit infused tea. So, let's see if it's tiny. Oh, I can actually smell it. So, that's, and it's really pretty. I don't know if any of you are seeing in there. I think I'm going to few bigger things, but I'll put this one with me. So it's too bad. And I'll probably do a tasting later. Envelope. It's cool. It is cool. Drought and death. Living death um, potion um, ingredient. Um, 
Mervad's magical uh Mervad's potion making which um they don't make the book doesn't get made anymore. The person who did them doesn't make the sell them make them anymore but yeah that was that's really cool. I knew that it would have to be something to do with potion in there comparing the um I don't know didn't actually I didn't expect it like that. I actually expected maybe like a, a bottle of potion. There's a box, and there's a cheat sheet, oh, and there's a print. I'll be able to do the print before I do that box. And then just do it. This is really cool. It's Hendrik, and it is signed by Cherry. So that is cool. At when I can be able to do my uh, my feature wall, that will be one of the uh, ones that will be featured on my wall. It's really cool. And then we've got the last thing, which you probably can tell by what it says on the box. Remember that. It's got here. This is you exquisitely crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for years to come. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, it's got the oh, these things. So, it's in bubble wrap. That is so cool. Um, Cherry is one who loves her replicas. I, for one, love my replicas, and also I love um, potions. Cherry and I are kind of. And well, there's three uh, three different types of stickers there, so we can put on, make our own. They don't have this. They do not have this in. I've never seen this. Any of this stuff. I've seen a mandrake in, uh, you know, subscription box before, but some of this stuff, like, it's amazingly thought out. My cherry. Just put it in the. Yeah, I put them in the in, in a box. Uh, and the um, in the box for year one, the philosopher's stone, wherever it is. Uh, I've always had a fascination with a, little, a, a fondness for Harry's first year books, mostly because it's where we were first introduced to the wizarding world. If you have never picked up the first book, I think our lives felt, felt a lot less magical and you most likely would not have read, I'd be reading this now. I felt like there was no other choice but to include a philosopher's philosopher stone to represent, represent, represent Harry's first year at Hogwarts, wrapped it in brown paper and try just how it looked when Hagrid removed it from the vault in Gringotts. You are now the owner of your own very... Yeah, a <laughs> Sorry. You are now the owner of your very own Philosopher's Stone. Keep it safe. Use it as a... Keep it out of muggle hands. And probably keep it away from the Niffler because it's shiny. Too. Uh, year two, Mandrake's art. Repotting young mandrakes in her biology class with Professor Porpoise Sprout was one of my favourite scenes in, the Harry, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets, yeah. Why? I think it's because if I was at Hogwarts, the greenhouses were uh, where I'd spend most of my time. I always had a fascination with the mandrake plants. I like that it's re that the roots shapes represent humans. I like that they they scream when they they're being replanted and that you need to wear earmuffs. I painted this with watercolours. I felt like I should name him. Yeah. Uh, year three, time turning tea. If you want watched and in my videos on this those mobile devices, you'll know that I'm really early seen out. I turned I'm turner from Harry Potter and the Prison Mask. I so love tree 
at Lock Tea. Fruit flavors are my favorite, so I hope you enjoy this one. Yes, I am just subscribed to Cherry's channel, and um, she is always wearing her time now. Year four, year four pin. Would you enter your name into the Goblet of Fire? I'm not sure. Uh, sure that I would. I probably wouldn't be that, Jerry, but uh, I, but I definitely did the your ball. Yes, yes, indeed. The dresses and the dress robes, the music, the food, and the drink. And let's not forget the decorations. You know, I'd seek any. I, I'd sneak an enamel pin in this box, didn't you? Yes. This pin was designed by. Oh, um, B22 and myself. She made what she makes wonderful pins. I don't actually. That is actually. This is actually kind of, I believe my, one of the first pins I've got. Them. That is kind of, is related to Amelia um, B23. I don't have any of them. Uh, any of her, her pens, and she's Australian too. So <laughs> I'm a bit. What's going on there? I don't know. Um, I should try and get. I'm pretty sure she's Australian. Don't quote me on there, but if she is, um, I don't know why. Hey, I don't have any of her pins. Uh, year four. Uh, play. I am not going to say that because I cannot pronounce it. Don't worry, this. Uh, Murmelus. Uh, Ultonia. There you go. I got it as much as I can. Won't carry you in. Stinks up. Never long bottle received one. Never long bottle received if one of these interesting plants as a gift in the summer of 1935. We first see it in prison. Order of the Phoenix. Did you know the plant? The film was soft and spongy with a, a thick robot inside to make it move. I can confirm this as I've been lucky enough to hold it myself, which I think she said as she's. That's probably, I think, when she was doing something um, with the Windy World with like one of the stars, I think, or Davis or something. Yeah, six drought of the living death potion recipe. You may know by now this is one of my favourite books from Hogwarts, as that uh, by now that one of my favourite books from Hogwarts is it's most uh, potion making. I wanted to share this potion recipe with you. Otherwise, how are you going to win a vial of Felicis? A Felix Felicis from Felicis Lovell. This was designed by Alarm18, who made one of my favorite limited edition books. This page has come directly from the hundreds. A magical page he designed for his, his version of the man's magic making. So I keep it safe and away from my goal eyes. Year 7, a memory vial. Imagine being able to bowl your most treasured memory. It's one concept from the visiting world that I wish was real. This item was inspired by Harry collecting Professor Severus Snape's tears. I wanted to create a potion. A product where you could save your own memories and label it yourself. What memory would you save? I'd love to know. Okay, uh, Cherry, um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm not thinking favorites. Um, I don't, I, I have no things. I've got no, I don't know what favorite um, thing I want to, <laughs> which one would be my favorite because they're all amazing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say the the memory vial. Uh, yeah, the memory vial would have to be my most top favorite because that's really cool. Uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I do get her Christmas box that she's doing up. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, if you like the video, um, if Obviously, like the video, please give a thumbs up. Also, in this bottom corner, there should be a little watermark of my of the, like a little panda. Um, click that if, to, if you want to subscribe to the channel. So, 
your head bang and I'll see you all in the next video.